morning lovelies happy monday bank holiday monday in the uk and the sun is shining and we're actually getting a bit of summer time which is wonderful makes me very very happy to see the sun after many months of recording in the woods when it was like cold and quite dark so this morning i would like to present a decree for ascension symptoms because ascension symptoms appear to be part of life at the moment that's uh, i've spoken about them previously i've covered the topic in workshops um, both live and and online about how our physical bodies are affected by the light that we are receiving now now the incoming ascension vibrations the light the 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 quality of the 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 triggers that we have within us do in actual fact have a they can in some of us they can have quite a profound physical effect in in others they're just it's kind of passing bouts of tiredness a bit of change in your sleeping pattern maybe a day feeling irritated or a day needing to kind of completely withdraw from reality and and, and sort of like on the opposite end of the scales it, it can quite it can quite happily put us in bed with with what appears to be um very very physical symptoms so i've heard the terms ascension flu ascension symptoms all, all of the other all of the other terminology that's kind of bandied around now and it's very real okay it's um what what happens with when we integrate this light when it comes in when we take it into our physical mental emotional and spiritual bodies we have to make room for it okay now if we have got stuff that is in need of releasing this light will just do it it, it, it will there's there's no kind of there's no ifs or buts about it the light comes in it needs to make room okay so if we have density within ourselves if we've got de if we've got kind of stodgy energy within our mental emotional and our spiritual fields which let's face it most of us do at the moment there is always something to release there is always something to work through i've been joking for a while that there will be a new kind of in 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 the coming years there will be a completely separate section in 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 doctors when 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 we come you know if we do consult a doctor when they say like you know this this the, the, oh it's ascension symptoms madam or yeah that that's down to the incoming light so it's 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 becoming a well-known thing and it's becoming something that we live with and we are actually beginning to work around quite effectively but one surefire way that i always find to work the way through it there's no real dodging the bullet for it what you kind of have to do is you have to dig in and and the faster the process moves the obviously the less time that you're going to spend in that space feeling um feeling as you're feeling so what with this increasing light that we're going to be getting between now and the solstice uh, you know forgetting all of the changes and the ripples in the fields that this is a, this is causing around us just bring it dial it back to us this morning and um this ascension the, the, this this decree or it was actually written first of all as a huna prayer it's on my website as a huna prayer but i've changed the wording and i believe that i must have pre presented this in one of my live zooms recently but so if, if this some of you might be familiar with in its original format but for the purposes of today it is a decree now a decree is spoken out loud with authority to the universe three times one two three is a magic number so i will go through this three times and at the end of it there is the the, the statement finale which 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 basically sends the energy to the universe with your request or your command okay a decree or a huna prayer or any invocation is a loving command to the universe for the activation and the presentations of certain energies which we are requiring 
This deals with ascension symptoms. This brings us physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually back into balance so that we can navigate through whatever we've got to clear as effectively as possible. So this will be read three times, okay? And at the end of it, I will read the last part once. So do the same as me if you're going through this and you can do it the once or you can do it every day until you start feeling a little bit more balanced if you need to feel balanced, okay? So here we go. Beloved Archangels, Metatron, Michael and Raphael, I, Tim Wilde, your name, call for the immediate balancing of my physical, mental, emotional and spiritual self here on earth. I invoke the assistance of the Pleiadian healing team to bring balance and harmony to my four body system. I release all my fear to highest source, understanding that change is upon me and that I am supported in every step of the way. I live, breathe and expand joyfully every second of the day. I am balance. I am unity. I am living love. I am my highest self. It is so. Beloved Archangels Metatron, Michael and Raphael, I, your name, call for the immediate balancing of my physical, mental, emotional and spiritual self here on earth. I invoke the assistance of the Pleiadian healing team to bring balance and harmony to my four body system. I release all my fear to highest source, understanding that change is upon me and that I am supported every step of the way. I live, breathe, and expand joyfully every second of the day. I am balance. I am unity. I am living love. I am my highest self. It is so. Beloved Archangels Metatron, Michael and Raphael, I, your name, call for the immediate balancing of my physical, mental, emotional and spiritual self here on earth. I invoke the assistance of the Pleiadian healing team to bring balance and harmony to my four body system. I release all my fear to highest source, understanding that change is upon me and that I am supported every step of the way. I live, breathe, and expand joyfully every second of the day. I am balance. I am unity. I am living love. 
I am my highest self. It is so. My beloved higher self and highest source, I now request from the center of my glowing heart that this manifestation is activated with immediate effect. I now stand on this planet with glowing, radiant health. Higher source, love and light, I now receive my blessings. As within, so without, as above, so below. It is done. Now just give yourself a few moments for that energy to integrate. Some powerful friends will be with you, assisting you and balancing you, grounding you in. So particularly with the Pleiadian healing team, and uh, we've worked with them previously before. Did a workshop on the Pleiadian Blue Rose a little while ago. And uh, they are absolutely, they are pristine and faultless with the way that they work with us. In fact, it's a lot of the Pleiadian healing systems that have been kind of integrated over the years and they will most certainly be assisting us with our future healing technology, the ones that will be replacing the current kind of, uh, uh, the current kind of ways of dealing with, with medicine in the human body that exist on the earth at the moment. So I hope that's of assistance on this beautiful Monday morning. And uh, tomorrow is my workshop, how to work with the heart for guidance and protection. Now it's, um, it's, an, it's what I call like the, the power hour, where we're kind of, I'm gonna be going very much into working with the heart center and how it is basically our primary tool for everything that we do on the planet at the moment, for using it for, for our guidance, for our discernment, for leading, you know, it's, it's quite simply the energy which precedes us and is us at the same time. So I'll be looking at that very thoroughly um, to, tomorrow night. And on the 7th is the third part of the, the series that Diana Cooper and I are running together, which is the Councils of Light. And we've got an absolute corker lined up because we're going to be working with the Councils of Earth. So that's, that's coming up very soon. And a little bit later in the month, on the 17th, is the fourth part of David Essery and I's Archangel Workshop series. And like I said previously, we are really looking forward to this one. It's the final one, which um, we've loved presenting them, but we're working with Archangel Uriel and Archangel Metatron. So lots, lots, I'm, I'm looking forward to them all. But for those of you that are joining me tomorrow night, looking forward to seeing you there. Lots of heart work, lots of heart expansions, which is exactly what we need at the moment. Sending you all loads of love and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.